Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Blood Moon, Auntie, Dustin, Be Sad Dog, Blaze, Patrick, John. Welcome, guys. Uh, let's see. We are headed south. We are going to do maybe like most of what we have left here, actually. Actually, let's not head to the south. Let's head to the north first. And we'll start with the low level Murlocs. We'll work our way all the way down the coast. We'll turn in the Murloc quest, and then we'll go over and we'll fight the Defias. That sounds like a better plan. Dustin, I'm glad you're digging it, man. Yeah, I, I think that might be the character that I take into Cataclysm. Like, from 80 to 85. Uh, it's gonna be so much safer for my plans to be a, a ranged DPS. And then, you know, if we, have a, if we have a guild and I want to tank and I want to heal and I want to melee, then I can always come back and do that on the pally later on. But I feel like, especially for like how I play and when I play, at least right out of the gate, I'm going to be doing a lot of pugging for, like, heroics and stuff. And if I'm going to be pugging heroics and stuff like that, then I'd rather do that on a, on a versatile ranged DPS. I think I'm going to send that character some heirloom shoulders. I, I, tra I transitioned all my high-level badges on my pally down to, like, low-level badges. But I only had, like, 55. So I'm gonna buy the shoulders. I'm not gonna buy the chest. I, I don't like the, having the chest piece heirloom anyway. Because then your character looks exactly the same the entire leveling journey. So I'm gonna get the shoulders, but... I don't know if I'll ever go back and get the chest piece for right now. Do I remember my first character I ever created in WoW? Yeah, the first character that I ever created was a Torin Druid on my friend's account. He was trying to show me the game, get me into it. Because he knew I was a big fan of Warcraft 3. And so he let me create a, a character and I ran around Mulgore for a bit.
And yeah, like the more the more that I think about the Cataclysm launch, like the less I want to be leveling up my main during the pre-patch. Like I, I don't want to have to rely on capping a character during the pre-patch. So yeah, I, I kind of decided against that. There's going to be other stuff that I want to do in the pre-patch. I, I still want to get like the the goblin zones recorded. I want to get the worgen zones recorded in a in a state where they're actually working, where like the cinematics play out, where the dialogue lines play out, and stuff like that. And uh, it's probably going to take me like most of the pre-patch just to record that stuff. So I, I don't want to also be trying to get a character to max level during the pre-patch. That doesn't seem like it's going to be a very enjoyable time if I do it that way. So yeah, I'm gonna go with, you know, I'll have the Pally, I'll have the Mage, and then I also have a, I have an 80 Shaman. <laughs> I have that boosted level 80 Shaman. So, you know, that gives me three characters to mess around with once Cata launches. You know, three characters to get from 80 to 85, and uh, I think that's probably gonna be more than enough. Have I ever had dreams about World of Warcraft? Back when I was younger... And uh, sometimes I'd play too much in one day and then I'd have a dream. Usually my video game dreams are just me running endlessly. Like just the character running and like I never get anywhere and I never do anything. And that's, that's something, there's something very fraudy about that. Like that's my dream. I'm always running, but I never get anywhere and I never do anything. Like that's basically how life feels for me. So yeah, I used to have dreams like that. These days I don't I don't really have a lot of dreams and when I do they're not about wow. Uh, this is a rare spawn, Slark. I don't think I've ever seen Slark before. I'm gonna try to hunt down Slark. I'm not sure what he was doing. It looked like he was running all over the place. Hmm. Yeah, he went that way. Let's try to get one more Coast Runner. And then maybe we'll head that way and look for him. <laughs> and what are they about? If they're not about WoW, none of your business. Roz, good afternoon, buddy. Good morning. some weirdness going on over here uh, we got a couple of level 11 human mages and they're both fighting a single target and they're both suspiciously low on HP okay it could be a couple of buddies leveling up mages it could be somebody multi-boxing I don't know it's just, it seems a little weird hmm none of my business I guess Nenya, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream.
<laughs> there he is. Uh, do we need any of these guys? We need warriors, tide hunters, and oracles. We got some oracles here. Um, I think we have oracles further down. To wait, wait, where'd he go? Oh no, I, I had him and then I lost him. What is this guy's patrol like? He must go like all the way up and down the beach. All right, all right, well... Let's fight to this chest here. No, that reminds me, Blood Moon, thank you for the potions and for the backpack and the gear. I appreciate it. I pulled out a couple pieces that we'll be able to equip at level 20 and then I, I left the rest of it in the mailbox for safekeeping. Oh, these oracles are not counting towards the oracles that we need. These are minor oracles, and it turns out that a minor oracle does not a full oracle make. So yeah, we, we don't need these ones. Dustin, you wish you could track weapon skill and stuff above the XP bar? That would be a good idea, yeah. That would be cool. It's almost like the same thing as a rep bar. It would be nice if you can just, like, put it down there. There's probably an add-on that does it. And if there's not, then, yeah, then an add-on maker should go ahead and, uh, go ahead and do that. We're going to catch this guy eventually. I feel like the only way I'm going to catch him is if I make him my top priority. Which means I can't stop to do anything else right now. Which is going to be a problem because I, I need this warrior. Yeah, like I might, I might never track this guy down. At least, you know, maybe he'll hit us on his return path. Maybe, maybe we'll get him coming back. Well, this is kind of a bad situation. Damn, I, I would have liked to kill one of them. There we go. At least, at least it's something. Whatever, whatever run this is, this run's probably gonna really suck. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, one of the worst runs that we could have hoped for. It's a good time to go make a sandwich or refill your coffee or, or something like that. Blanzen, Parkour, Lael, welcome guys. You've come just in time to just witness the absolute embarrassment of a long-ass spirit run. Oh, 
Obviously, like, I'm a little bit overconfident because I, I thought they were lower level. They are lower level, but once you have four of them on you, apparently it doesn't matter. I needed like 27 crits to go off, and I don't know that I got a single crit. Yeah, it's moments like this that remind me why I'm I'm over hardcore. <laughs> this this is it. Yeah, it's stuff just like that. Like that probably would have that would have happened to me the same way in hardcore. I'd have been like, hey, I'm level 19. I can charge this guy. It's gonna be fine. And it's not. It's very often not fine because I, I didn't account for the runner. I didn't account for the runner or the patroller. I, I'm already effing up again. It's going to be one of those days. And like, for whatever reason, I'm just not dealing any damage to them. I don't know if I'm just not critting or like what's happening here, but... They are... Beating the snot out of me. For level 14 guys, they're kicking the crap out of me. I, I really don't appreciate it. Lazar, Richard, good afternoon, guys. Good morning. Welcome to the stream. And I bet we missed the name guy coming back while we were on the spirit run. I bet he's already, like, patrolled back, and now he's out of sight the other way. Which means we probably won't get to kill him today, unfortunately. Not enough potions. I got a ton of potions. I'd already used a potion that time. Yeah, my, my potion was on cooldown. I, I have 11 level 12 potions, so, like, I'm good. These restore, like, 300 HP, so... Now what I don't have is I, I don't have a lot of elixirs. But yeah. And ultimately like it doesn't matter. A short spirit run later and it doesn't matter. I will die as much as I want. Thank you very much. Am I gonna do dead mines? I'd love to do dead mines. Me doing dead mines uh, requires other people to be doing dead mines, though. Right now, nobody's doing it. You know, it's the middle of the day on a uh, on a Thursday, and you know, it's vanilla. It's classic era WoW. You know, people are like, oh, it's dead, it's dead. It's not dead, but yeah, it doesn't have the playership right now that like Sod has or or anything. So like, it's just harder to find groups. When you have to put the group together yourself, it's harder to find groups. And when I get a one-hander and a shield, if I happen to get those items, then I could probably tank it. Then I can try to put the group together myself. But still, like, in this environment, it'll probably take longer to put the group together um, than it will to do the run. So, we'll see. Did I run out? No, I have a ton. I just I just grabbed them. No, I have a ton. Anti just wasn't paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> it's, pro it's probably hard to see the number of my potions, to be fair. I have 11. I ran out of the elixirs, yeah, yeah. Not the potions, though. The, the problem is that I die. That's what kills it. You know, like, in, in hardcore, like, you have the elixirs you have, and you don't, it do, you don't die, so, like, you're only using them every hour. <laughs> 
in classic era classic I die a lot and so I end up like wasting elixirs that's a good reason actually that's a good motivation to try a little bit harder to stay alive is that like the biggest problem is that it's a waste of resources the the time running back like really doesn't matter uh let's see we've got the warriors we need tide hunters and oracles now Ooh, these hunters with a pet are level 17. I don't... I don't really like that. This is the Mancrick server. Which is, uh, US East. Keep in mind, like, the servers are kind of clustered together, so they're, they're all, like, kind of connected. Not all of them, but, like, groups of them are connected to each other. So while you're playing, you'll you'll often see people that are on different servers. God, my inventory. Oh, okay, good. We, we don't have inventory problems. What we have are a bunch of clams. So that's, that's okay. We'll open them all up and then voila, we now have inventory space. Sort of. We have a little bit of inventory space. We'll eat this banana. There we go. Uh, clearly I didn't vendor back at town. Pretty typical. Uh, we're still in Warriors and Hunters. I need to keep going further south. Sadly, we never ran into the name guy again. Oh, speak of the devil. Here he is. Oh, that's a bad pull. Okay, well, see how this goes. Oh no, this is Brack. Brack was not the guy we saw. I don't remember the dude's name now, but the dude's- it started with like an S. It, it wasn't Brack, I don't think. This is, a, this is a different guy. How many named Murlocs are on this beach? Like, there's the one for the quest, and then apparently there are at least two others? Ooh, he dropped an item. Oh, that's a dagger. Of course it couldn't be, like, an awesome two-handed sword. It's a pretty nice dagger, though. Yeah, here's the other guy, Slark. Okay, okay, so there's two named guys that are just rare spawn, like, non-elites. It's a tanking weapon. I, yeah, I mean, I guess you could, yeah. Um, okay, well, he's hiding out with that group right now. Man, this guy just stays on the move, man. He doesn't stop for long. Now the problem is, like, before I need, I need to be fighting these guys. But if I'm ever going to catch him, I, I can't let him out of my sights. He's going to have to turn back around eventually. Unfortunately, he seems to be as fast as us, if not faster. So, like, I don't know if catching him is possible unless he stops. Yeah, we're, we're never going to catch up to him unless he stops or turns around. Especially having to avoid guys, like, on the way. Oh, Jesus. This better be worth it. 
There we go. It's a good idea. I'm still never gonna can catch him. He's so fast, like he's gone. Jesus Christ, he runs like twice player speed. He he better drop an epic. Like there's no fucking way that this guy just drops trash after I have to chase him like this. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> oh, this isn't worth it. I know it's not worth it. I wish I lived in a world where it was going to be worth it. But that's not the world we live in. This is so stupid. <laughs> uh, there's the other guy we need. Oh, let's put a moon on him. Uh, my dude just straight up being vanished. I swear to God, if he actually vanished, if I don't get to kill this guy, I'm going to be pissed. This will actually piss me off if I don't, if I don't get to fight this guy. If he just literally vanished into thin air and he didn't just outdistance me, I'm gonna be upset. I don't, I don't appreciate it. Having to chase him down, having him vanish into thin air, like this is kind of horseshit. I guess I'll kill him and then like we're gonna see if this dude runs back. He probably just completely vanishes into thin air and restarts his route somewhere else. Oh, there he is! No, he's gone. He's he's still got. We're never we're never gonna catch him. Uh, okay, well at least we get to fight old Murkai. The pro he's, he can run all the way to the end of the beach, I guess. You know, like, he needs to stop for just a couple seconds. some leather shoulders off of him that's actually pretty awesome all right yeah the hunt continues I'm gonna I'm gonna run this out we've already chased this guy all over the place so now he, I'm just gonna hope that he turns around oh I see a skull no he, it looks like maybe he's still running the opposite direction Dear God. This guy. I've never seen, like, a guy do this kind of shit. Okay, maybe he's circling back. Yeah, he's hanging out with these guys. Like, oh, let me go talk to these guys for a bit. I'll stand right near a bunch of them. Now he's... No, 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 you don't. Oh, you do not. Do not. Oh, he's running back the other way. No. No, 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 son of a bitch. <laughs> this is the most frustrated I've ever been playing this game. I have never fucking been more frustrated than I am right now. And I've played this game for 20 fucking years. And I used to play in challenging content. And this is, this is so fucking aggravating and I have no idea why. This is the most aggravated I've been in a video game in my entire adult life. I have no idea why. I have no fucking clue why this bothers me so much. Do I play games other than WoW? Never. Blasphemy. I'm fucking done with this guy. Fuck this guy. This guy has single-handedly busted my F-bomb count for like the entire rest of the fucking week. I'm not- I'm not going after him anymore. I'm changing my mark off of him and we're- we're done with it. And at the end of it all, he would have dropped like a- a fire wand or something stupid. That's what would have happened at the end of it all. It's- it's not like we were actually chasing something that was ever gonna be rewarding. He'll come back sooner or later. I won't be here to give a shit when he comes back.
someone else will kill him long before he comes back. I, I don't care anymore. I don't, I don't care anymore. I can't care about this anymore. I, I literally chased him from one end of the zone to the other. I've, I've put in my due diligence and now I don't care. Level 20. Yeah, unfortunately, it turns out that everybody has stuff that pisses them off. And, and I found a thing today that pisses me off. A dude running from me faster than I could ever possibly catch him. It turns out that's very aggravating to me. That, that's the danger of streaming, is that sometimes you're a human being and you can't do anything about it. <laughs> sometimes you're just a human and you just have a feeling and you can't do anything about it at that moment that you have said feeling. And, and I think there's a group of people that would actually find my discomfort very amusing. Because sometimes when someone else is miserable, for some reason that's amusing to humans. Inventory's full. That figures. And I guess the other side of that coin, like the other side of that coin, I, I'd rather have somebody pop into the stream and see me at my worst than to spend years only seeing me at my best and then to feel disappointed for some reason when it turns out I have emotions and reactions that they don't really care for. I'd much rather somebody like immediately see me at my worst than just to see me only at my best. Because I, I have to read too many of those YouTube comments already. <laughs> you can paint fences for decades and streak naked once and people will remember you as the naked streaker. There we go. I guess I'm just the naked streaker. Yeah, it's pointless, right? It's pointless. Yeah, also, like, it's basically impossible to, like, control all of your emotions and reactions when you're live in front of people for, like, two, three, four, five, six, seven hours a day, almost every day. It's basically impossible. Like, you might as well just roll with whatever you're feeling at the moment, even if what you're feeling is acute and unreasonable frustration at a stupid mob in a video game. Like, you might as well just roll with it. Because the alternative is having to be, like, so choreographed that you're not going to be able to pull it off long term. Uh, I think we're done. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. Let's, let's go turn these in, and then we can be done fighting Murlocs for today. <laughs> Mike, you fell asleep watching a nice relaxing VOD. You woke up hours later in the middle of an epic rant about the state of Sod. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the streams and the recorded stuff are different content. Like, 
you can be one person and you can make two different kinds of content for two different types of people like The good thing now is like, like sometimes back in the day there would be rants like in the VODs. But nowadays, like I really don't do any ranting in the VODs at all. Like, you know, in the recorded content, I mean. Now when I do recorded content, I just record and I, I know that anything I want to rant about, anything that I want to complain about, I can do, I can just do it in the stream. It keeps it separated. Uh, what did I not do? Oh no, we already did the fire quest. We turned the fire one in, like, much, much earlier, I think. So this is all done. I'm gonna grab this shield. It's a crap shield, but, you know, if we do want to tank dead mines, maybe I'll be tanking dead mines with a crap shield. It's possible. Okay, um, let's head over right nearby and we will fight the Defias. And then after that we'll go train, and then after that we actually have to head back to Darkshore because now we have a bunch of stuff in Darkshore that is green. I would I would never try to relax to the streams. The streams are too the streams are too random. Like sometimes I'm chill for a long time in the stream. Sometimes things happen like what you just had to witness. Like I, I think if you're if you're trying to like chill to some content, I, the recorded stuff is much better for that. In my, in my opinion. It's just because in the recorded stuff, it's like a pretty even tone throughout. There, there's not really any kind of conversation or interaction that's going to get me, like, fired up. Am I not doing the map quest? From what I understood about the map quest, uh, we, oh, I do have the item. Okay. You could have just said, hey, there's an item in your inventory that starts a quest. <laughs> I didn't see the item drop. I may or may not do this. Yeah, it depends on, like, where it takes me. Um, yeah, like, maybe. This would have been a lot better to, like, notice I had that earlier and been able to do that with the Murloc questing. I don't know if I'll do it. We'll see. Is the is the end of it a 10-slot bag? Do we get a 10-slot bag, or is it an 8-slot bag? Because I don't, I don't need a an 8-slot bag. But I guess I wouldn't mind a 10-slot bag. I really need to empty my inventory. Oops, that was not the button I wanted to click on. Well, that was silly of me. It's an 8 slot, then yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do it. We'll see. Carnifexia being back in Classic feels so good after, after Sod. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely understand why you feel that way. That's kind of one of the reasons why I'm here. Like, you know, Sod has been in a, a big downtime period too, so... Yep, we'll be checking out phase three next Thursday, a week from today, actually. And we'll see how that goes. Ultimately, though, like, this season of Discovery is not really a substitute for Classic Era. It doesn't feel like Classic Era, and, like, as, as someone tried to school me on, on YouTube, uh, it, it's not supposed to feel like Classic, apparently, so, like... When we complain about how Saad does not feel anything like, like Classic, uh, we just should understand, I guess, that it was never supposed to feel anything like Classic. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> it's not Classic, and it doesn't feel like Classic, and it's not gonna feel like Classic. So, yeah, it's gonna feel like whatever it is. And what the thing about it is, like, whatever Saad is, it drastically changes every single phase. Like, Sod in Phase 1 did not feel like Sod Phase 2, and Sod Phase 3 is not going to feel like Sod Phase 1 or Phase 2. Like, every single phase is going to feel, like, Hell. markedly different. Hey, good. Watch like, in Phase 1, it kind of still felt like Classic. 
But then, you know, by phase two, when all we were able to do was grind dungeons, and then we got a 100% experience bonus, uh, that, that, you know, that's when it stopped feeling anything like classic. Uh, where are all these guys? There we go. Oh, we got another player up here. Uh, let's invite you. This guy's looking around, he's like, what the hell? Another player? It's me! In, let me join your group! <laughs> there we go, look at that. This is our first, I think this is the first time we've grouped up on this character at all. Yeah, I, I think so. He'll probably run off in the other direction and leave us to die. Now oh, there we go. Yeah, it's like, yeah, the content is okay. Like, some of the people find the content fun. So, like, yeah, it doesn't have to be, like, classic. Because we still have classic. I, I would have wanted something different. But I, I just try to, like, enjoy it for what I can, I guess. I hope they get to do, like, future things with all the data they collected. I, I hope that Season of Discovery doesn't end and then like we never hear about Seasons again for two years like w with what happened with Season of Mastery. That would be a bummer. I, I hope that team continues to be able to like do projects and innovate. Even if none of their inner innovations like ever resonate with me, even if they never make a season that I find like incredibly compelling, I hope they still get the try. Sorry about that. <laughs> Two simmer hole playing with him. No, I don't want to weird him out. He's probably already weirded out enough that I uh, invited him to a group. Electron, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Karen, good evening. Welcome. Yes, I, I, I can definitely understand that. Look at that, we got a sheep. This guy is CCing for us, that's pretty pro. And maybe we can break up this group back here. Blood Moon, that's awesome. I really appreciate that. Like, to be fair, this dude is level 15. Like, he's actually, like, pretty low level to be here. I don't think I would be here at level 15. Maybe he will sheep one of these guys. Okay, he did.
Stan, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. We need one more highwayman. Here we go. I'm gonna find out what else this guy needs. I asked him what he needed and told him I was done, but I have yet to receive a reply. So I'm going to fight my way out of here, and then I'm going to head back to town. I have a new pet gnome. Yeah, he's like, he's just gonna follow me around and never leave my group. Yeah. A thought had occurred to me. There we go. I, I thanked him. I've left the party. He'll he'll figure it out. We slash dismiss, yeah, abandon, abandon pet. Dustin, your first buy non equip blue just dropped, but it was nothing good. I mean, that sounds classic to me. It'll be like an orb of offhand intellect or something.
It's good for a warrior or a hunter. Right, right, right. It's always going to be something that you don't need. That drops. You sell it on the auction house for a gold or two. Carnifexia, thank you so much for the membership. I really appreciate that. Thank you. It's a thought that counts, Dustin. I appreciate it. Barnabas, good morning. Welcome to the stream. And Carnifexia with the five gifted memberships. That is incredibly generous of you. Thank you so much. Welcome to the five folks. I appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with us. Now you're stuck here. We got some VIP sniped. That's nice to see. I like it when that happens. Need help? Uh, what do we want here? I don't need any of this. I'll take the one-hander. I'll take the one-hander for possible tanking. We'll have a, a kind of crappy one-hander and a kind of crappy shield. What can I do for you? Buffalo Bill, good morning. Carnifexia, I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate all you guys being here while I play Classic Era. I know Classic Era is not, like, super popular. I know Classic Era is dead. And so I appreciate when you guys come and you just hang out and I can just play whatever I want. As opposed to having to play, like, what I think is popular or, like, where all the people are playing. I appreciate being able to do this. Alright, so uh, I'm probably not going to do the hidden treasure. Defias Brotherhood, this one turns in back in Red Ridge. I probably do have to head to Red Ridge, at least to do some like intro stuff. Am I going to stream any of the mage? Nah, not the Wrath of the Lich King mage. I'm, I'm just going to keep that a recorded series. You know, I mean, once... I'll do 80 to 85 on stream. Once we're in Cataclysm. But I think I'm going to do the leveling up as a... Just a recorded series. I want to I want to focus on this. And then we're going to... We'll play Sod Phase 3 for a little bit. And then while we're streaming F Sod Phase 3, I, I want to keep playing this character. So I'm going to do a few recorded episodes on this character when we're streaming Sod Phase 3. Because I, I don't want to stream Sod Phase 3 and just, like, stop playing this character. So that's kind of my plan. We're going to focus streams on this character. Thursday, we'll start streaming some Sod. And starting Thursday, I'll have, a, I'll have episodes going up daily uh, where I'll just make a little bit of progress each day on this character. Just to keep her alive, to keep in touch with her, and then eventually, you know, I, I'll be done with Sod probably after like a few days. And I'll probably be ready to park the tune and wait till level 60, so... I, I don't anticipate anticipate streaming Sod like very much. It's gonna be like a, a few day thing, maybe, maybe as long as a week. And we'll get to level 50. If I can get to level 50 and jump into a pug for the raid, then I'll do it. If I can't, then I'm not gonna worry about it. Just like I didn't worry about doing Nomergon. A 
Corey, good afternoon. Thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it. I have a talent point. Uh, we're going to go five points into Improved Battle Shout. And after that, we, we might go into Enrage. I'm not going to go right into Dual Wield Spec. We're going to have to wait until we have some really good one-handed weapons before I bother going into this. So I think I'll right off the bat I'll go into Enrage. And we'll just kind of do a two-handed Fury build for a little while. I don't know if I'll grab if I'll grab improved slam. I'm not really familiar with slam. I've never really used the ability, so we might we might avoid it, but we might not have anywhere else to go. Maybe we'll do two points improved execute. Yeah, I've never played with slam, so I'm not sure like where it fits in. Michael, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Uh, by the time we get down to it, we're gonna need better weapons than that. I'm not gonna bother with dual spec until I have until I can get actually like really good weapons, like at level with me, decent weapons. Because I don't even know if I'm gonna like dual wield. I don't really like care for the like fantasy of dual wield on a warrior. I prefer my dual wielders to be rogues and shaman. I don't even really like dual wielding on shaman to be honest. And so, like, I prefer a two-hander. I know that ultimately, like, dual wielding might be more DPS, so we'll do it eventually, but we'll do it when it's, like, we'll do it when the time is right. Uh, I'm definitely not going to rush into it. If I rush into it, I'm going to regret it, and then we're going to go full arm spec to, like, counterbalance it. So I don't want that to happen. Uh, I feel like I need something here. Is it the skin of sweet rum? And did I sell my flask or my cask? No, I didn't. Here's the thunder brew... Here's the the sweet rum. This is for the uh, the the gathering quest out of Red Ridge, and then I'll I'll need something. Oh, I should have grabbed the wine from Stormwind. Ugh. I I need something from Duskwood anyway, so it's not like a really big deal right now. Is classic warrior DPS needlessly complicated? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't, nothing in Classic is really complicated. <laughs> Especially if you're comparing it to like the crazy ass rotations in like cooldown oriented nature of any of the retail classes. Like nothing, nothing in Classic is really super complicated. Um, yeah. I feel like maybe the most complicated part of Classic was maybe if you're like a warlock, maybe like getting, doing your dots correctly. If you're like trying to super like min max and optimize, and maybe that could be a challenge. But no, I don't. I don't think anything in classic era is really hard. That's kind of one of the joys of classic era. I think a lot of the things that are complicated in Classic Era come down to like understanding what's going on. Like the yeah, things like hunter pets, knowing knowing what abilities you need to train for your pet off of what creatures. Knowing at what thresholds to go after the next rank of an ability. Like a lot of the challenge of Classic comes in understanding how the game works. Not in pressing like your class buttons and like learning your class rotation. Like, the challenge comes in, like, actually understanding what's going on and what to do when, and not really, like, about your class buttons or your rotation or anything like that.
I'm immersed. Now, I, when, when I when I run with the camera like this, I, I look at the mini-map, and I, I steer my character by looking at the mini-map to keep us on the road. That's how I that's how I do long shots of just like having a different angle of the character is I have to really focus. I don't really get to look at the screen. I, I look at the mini map and I make sure that I'm like adjusting the character to stay on the road. So yeah, if I'm focusing very intently, I'm probably eyeballing the mini map. I feel like we, we spend like so much time playing WoW with like the same angle of the character. I, I like to provide different angles as much as I can, different than what you would see if you were playing yourself. I'm gonna grab this quest. We're not gonna do it right now. Well met. I'll take it. Go with honor, friend. And we'll just hang on to it for later. I'm gonna do the Hillary's necklace quest. Maybe the lost tools. And then we'll talk to Wiley. But then after that, I think we have to go to Darkshore. Uh, we're we got a lot of green stuff going on back in Darkshore. See, I, I disagree, and we're allowed to have different opinions. Having more buttons to push in retail does not get me more into the game at all. It's not more engaging to me, unfortunately. It's more, it's more to do, but different people's brains work differently. My brain does not feel more pleasantly engaged just by having more buttons to push. I, I really prefer like being able to rely a little bit on my auto attacks and the more classic flow of combat, but we're allowed to feel differently. Everybody's different. That's why there's so many different versions of the game right now. It's people like to enjoy it for different reasons. King's honor, friend. Light bless you. Yeah, it just comes down to what you like. Light be Some blessed. people need to have more buttons to push to feel like they're actually engaging with something. For the alliance. I, hey, I die in retail all the time. <laughs> It is possible to die in retail, especially if you get into Dragonflight content and you don't have great gear. And now if you got heirlooms and stuff, then yeah, you probably aren't going to die. But if you go into Dragonflight content and your gear really sucks and you don't kind of like focus on getting that fixed, you you'll die. I I've died lots of times. I've probably died in retail more than I've died in classic, to be honest. Part of that is like inattentiveness. Part of it is mob density. And part of it is like gear issues going into the level 60 content. Ah, uh, the tools at the bottom of the lake. I'm gonna go grab the tools, assuming there aren't like just a bunch of murlocs swarming around it. Uh, that being said, I'm used to having quest tracking for this one. So we'll see if I can even find the tools without it. I think they're right here in the boat. We might have to deal with this murloc, though. Uh, they are not here in the boat, and we are definitely going to have to deal with this murloc anyway. Maybe this is not the boat that I'm looking for.
And my wife went out for lunch with a friend, so now my dog is going to take every effing opportunity to bark at every single thing he can just to bother the shit out of me. Because that's what happens when you have a big stupid dog. They bark at literally everything when no one's there to stop them. It was worse than a murloc, yeah. As a person who's like sensitive to noise and like I, I, I get really anxious and bothered by like noises that are going on that I'm not in control of those noises and I don't know why they're happening. As a person who has problems with noise, having a barking dog is literally the worst thing for my mental health. It's been so terrible. <laughs> like, it's better when, like, there's uh, there's someone else here, and then I, I don't have to worry as much, and I, I don't get as, like, triggered by it, but it's just, it's been fucking awful. If you don't like noise, like, random, loud, jarring, persistent, constant noise, don't, don't even have an animal. But if you are gonna have an animal, do some research first, and get one that doesn't, uh, that doesn't bark. I am going to step away for a second and go deal with some shit. And I'll be right back. And then hopefully by then I can just, uh, I can keep playing the game. Sorry guys. One minute. All right, there we go. Problems solved for now. How are you? Uh, what else do I want to grab here? I want to grab the alcohol quest. I want to grab the quest from the governor. What can I do for you? Light bless you. What's on your mind? Be good. Good day to you. Have a good one. Oh, Wiley. Yeah, we gotta talk to Wiley upstairs.
Hello. Have a good one. Greetings. Be careful. We might skip the messenger quests. Um, yeah, it's already a low level. And I really don't want to focus on doing all the flying around for it right now. We, we might also lose dry times, depending on if we hit level 22. Uh, if we if we don't lose it, I'll, I'll do it, but... We need the bottle of moonshine from Duskwood. I wonder if maybe I should just run down to Duskwood now. And grab that. If I do it that way, then I can turn in a free lunch without losing that one. We could run down to Duskwood, uh, grab the a bottle of moonshine, grab the flight point, and then take that back to Stormwind. And then we could come back and turn this in before we head to Darkshore. Let's, uh, let's do it that way. I don't know if I'll do the rest of the flying around. It's going to want us to go to, like, basically everywhere, so we'll see. Dustin, you're going Worgen Hunter and Kata? I thought about that. You know, ultimately, like, I'm going to do the Worgen starting zones to see the story. And I, I think that's it. The Worgen look very different in Kata than they do in retail. They, they, look, they look very different. I, I don't really know what it is. If it's like the way they walk, or maybe it's something in the faces. They don't look at all like I remember. It's, it's strange. I like the uh, the pet they start with, like the bulldog or whatever it is. I, I think the the worgen hunters start with a really cool pet. Probably the coolest starter pet. Thank <laughs> you. 
any zones that I'm looking forward to in Kata? Um, I really don't know. I haven't been thinking about it, really. And I'm still trying to decide, like, what I want to do, you know, besides besides focusing on a character at endgame, like, I don't really know what I want to do for, like, the leveling zones. Besides getting the worgen zones recorded and the goblin zones recorded for their starting experiences, like, I really don't know what my plan is. I, I'd like to one day have, like, read all the quests in all of the zones. I just don't really know the best way to go about that or, like, how I want to do it. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff on both factions, like, that I don't remember, that I never... places I've never quested. And even the zones I did quest in back in the day, like, I never used to read the quest. So I have no idea the story of, like, any of those zones. So I'm kind of looking forward to all of it. I just don't know, like, how to approach getting all of the zones recorded. It's probably going to involve a few leveling campaigns and then just keeping track of, like, what zones I do on which characters. And then I'd also, I'd also like to have the zones, like, in playlists by zone. So that people that want to see the story of a specific zone can just watch that playlist. And then people who want to see the overall arc of the character can just watch through the character's playlist. So I'm still trying to figure out stuff like that. Yeah, I think I'll try to keep, like, you know, the, a video will be in two playlists. It'll be in the playlist of its character, so that that progress is tracked, and then there will be a playlist for, like, every, every zone. I, I kind of wish I had done that, like, with Classic Era to know, like, which zones I've read the quest in and which I haven't. Uh, do I, what do I need? I need the Moonshine. Uh, who's gonna have the Moonshine? Probably the Bartender. Bottle of Moonshine. Alright, back to storm when we go. Eight, eight terabytes big. I don't keep my working files for very long. I, I clear I clear my recordings out pretty consistently. I don't I don't try to keep a hold of them. I uh, I I publish them, and then by the once they're uploaded to YouTube, I clear out the working file. And then once I know there's nothing wrong with the published file, like the published file goes out, there's no problems with it. And then I delete the published file. So I don't I don't store stuff for very long. Uh, let's go to Stormwind. Because, yeah, like, man, no, if it, it would take all the terabytes in the world. If I had tried to keep a hold of, like, all of my, all of my core files, like, even if I just tried to keep the published files, like, every published file is, like, 20 gigs. Anywhere from, like, 15 to 20 gigs. So, it's a lot, it would be a lot of hard drive space. <laughs> I don't know how many videos are on my channel, but multiply that by 20. And that's how many gigabytes uh, storage I would need. Yeah, I figure if it's made if it's made it onto YouTube, then it's it's where it needs to be to live for as long as it's gonna live. You know, when a massive solar flare takes out all technology and we're thrust back into the Stone Ages, then it won't matter either way. Kashik, good afternoon, man. Welcome to the stream.
Now, the bottle of wine. I really, I don't know where this is at. Um, maybe it's over here somewhere. I might turn on quest tracking really quick. I don't want to run around too long looking for this. Um, icons? Objectives. Uh, we can do... Okay, it's over this way by the mage quarter. Okay. Which one do we need? Cask of Merlot. There we go. Alright, that's all of them. So let's fly back to Red Ridge. We'll turn it in. I will talk to the guy out front of Stormwind. We'll, we'll get that one done as well. Then we'll turn them in, and then I'm gonna head to Darkshore. I was looking forward to doing some Stranglethorn questing in Phase 3 of Sod, but because they're leaving the PvP event going and they're making the PvP event relevant for higher level players, it seems like the first time I'll get into Stranglethorn will be when this character goes into Stranglethorn. Um, now it says there's supposed to be a guy here. Uh, this guy right here is supposed to be a quest turn-in, but some kind of event is playing out uh, due to this. Something's happening here. Remember warrior training. That's not a bad idea. I'm level 20. Yeah, I wish I could turn this one. I'm not going to wait on this for very long. I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's a little tiny breadcrumb worth a little tiny amount of experience. Uh, and they got a whole thing playing out here. I'm not really sure. Let's go grab the warrior training and we'll, we'll just we'll get out of here. It's fine. Yeah, they're probably going to want us to go after Berserker Stance too, but I'm not I'm not going to go after Berserker Stance right now. There's a strong likelihood that like as I level up, I will probably never use Berserker Stance a single time. Because I, I don't I don't want to stand stance a lot. And I want to charge. And you can't charge from Berserker Stance, so yeah. And even if I wanted to stand stance, I I'd have to grab Tactical Mastery in order to have that be like worthwhile. And Tactical Mastery is... I don't even know where it's at. Oh, it, it's in the arms tree. Yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. Is Sod a little easier leveling than Classic Classic? Um, no, yes and no. It, it's gonna take you less time. You're gonna level up faster. Uh, the no part is that, like, the enemies are sometimes more difficult to fight because the, the, you got new abilities and stuff in Sod, so your character's a little bit stronger. But they also boosted all of the enemy HP and attack power by 20%. So depending on what new abilities you have, and depending on what class you are, uh, sometimes fighting enemies is harder than it is in Classic Classic. I remember the struggle on my Sod Warrior in Duskwood, and how it felt like I just could never kill anything. Everything felt like super strong, starting in like at, by like level 20 at 21. Uh, things felt really strong compared to me. And so yeah, it's like you will level faster though. And if you have a certain, if you have a class that has some powerful abilities, you'll probably be fine. But the enemies don't seem like easier to fight. 
Uh, Thunderclap rank two. Okay, cool. We're not we're not even using Thunderclap rank one. I should probably think about at least having it on the bar. Uh, Ren rank two. Retaliation is gonna be nice. <laughs> dual wield. Okay, so we can dual wield. Cleave. Disarm. Okay. Be careful. Uh, let's grab this quest. I'm, I don't think I'm going to do this now, but we will grab it. And let's get some things out to the bar. This is a cooldown. You can go here. Uh, having Thunderclap out would just be like a good idea. Overpower. Like, I don't know when we trained Overpower, but having Overpower out would be good also. Uh, we also got Cleave. I don't really think I'll do a lot of cleaving while I'm soloing, but we'll pull it out anyway. And then Disarm. Disarm would... Oh, Disarm requires defensive stance, so I, I won't be disarming on a regular basis. And that's it. Um, you know what? I could probably train the next rank of skinning, can't I? I'm at 133. Well met. Nice. Now I gotta work on getting my herbalism up a little bit more. Safe travels. Camping King, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here.
Jackie, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Well met. Go with honor, friend. Be careful. travels. Have I played Fallen Earth? No. I, I've never heard of it. I I don't play a lot of other games. Can I help you? Unless it unless they're MMOs. And I try I try most new MMOs that come out. But besides that, I don't have a lot of time for other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna put us on a flight all the way to Menethil Harbor. We do have to go over to Dark Shore. And I think while I'm doing that, I'm going to step away from the keyboard while I'm in flight. I'm going to go eat a boiled egg and drink some milk and uh, have a little snack. And then we'll be back at it and we'll keep going. I will see you guys on the flip side. I'll put the break screen up. That way people know that I'm not here. And I'll see you guys in a few.
Oh, that was pretty close. Uh, let's see, is there a boat? Nope, nope, we are going to be waiting on a boat. I have mail. Awesome. I will get that once we are in Aberdeen. Uh, I doubt I can fish here. I don't think my fishing skill is high enough. I think I've only fished the one time. Yeah, 15 out of 17. 15 out of 17 is probably not going to do it. We do not have a high enough skill. Yeah, I don't know if I'll do fishing. I have to, like, dedicate some actual time to it if I was going to do it. Ali, I'm doing well. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Classic classic, someone's not a fan of Saad. Interestingly enough, I have an entire video about my opinion on Saad, so... Yeah. <laughs> I like how you phrased it though. Someone's not a fan of Saad. Ooh. There you go. There's how I feel about Saad. That's everything. And we will be playing Saad. We'll be playing Saad when phase three opens up. We'll be we'll be getting our we'll be getting our Pally to fifty. And then we'll see. I'm impressed by anybody who's been able to play Saad like every single day, <laughs> like I'm impressed by any player who has played Sod and only Sod ever since Sod came out. Like, if that person exists, like, kudos for you. That's crazy. They, like, they very much intend for people to step away to, like, do other versions and to come back, it feels like. You know, it feels like that's kind of part of the intention. So, like, if anybody out there has just been non-stop playing Sod the entire time since launch, like, go you. That's, uh, like, a lot of dedication and a lot of time to put in. We almost did not make that jump. I probably should have just waited five more seconds. It would have been a smarter idea. Theodore, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. It was a close jump. Sod is expensive, that's why you just buy bags of grass seed, Eric. Nice. I see I see what you did. I see what you did there. Dennis, good afternoon. Welcome. Dennis, I appreciate that, man. I would never get tired of hearing that. I appreciate you saying so.
Does the water look better in vanilla? Um, well, I mean, this is like, to be fair, this is actually not the original water. But I think a lot of things look better in vanilla era. I think the lighting is better. Uh, mainly like the lighting, the skyboxes, I think like all that stuff is better than like anything after the Cataclysm. Until they fix the skyboxes in Dragonflight. Like now when you go into like the Cata zones in retail, everything looks really good. But for a long time, like, it really didn't look that good. If we want to see what the water really looks like in Classic Era Classic, we can, we can do that. This is what the water used to look like. And I don't think, I don't think it changed until Cataclysm. I think Cataclysm is when they put the change in. But yeah, this this used to be it. Which isn't bad, it, I, I never thought it looked bad. It took me a long time to get used to the new water and to actually like, to be able to perceive that the new water looked better than the old water, it took me a long time. Because I always thought this was, uh, this was fine and pretty good. Yeah, some people still prefer it. I can, I can I can see why, like, it's not bad, you know? And, like, the other thing is I feel like it has more transparency. Like, the new water doesn't always have a lot of transparency to it. Whereas I, I feel like the old water, you can, you can see through it. Like, I can see the land down here. And if I turn on the new water, I'm pretty sure that goes away. Yeah, see? Now, now I can't see anything really. There's a vague hint of color where the land is. I can't really see the crab besides his name. Oh, there he is. Yeah, the, the transparency is not there. Uh, but what you get instead is you get reflections. So it really depends on like what you like. Do you like to be more transparent or do you like it to have the realistic reflections? All right, so what are we doing here? We got some green stuff. We can do this to the south. We can do this to the south. Um, this one is in the cave. This one is up north as well, out in the water. This one is up north as well. Let's grab a couple more. There's a few more here that I want to get done. Uh, we should have a wanted poster. Here we go. We'll grab the quest for the Tower of Athalax. Oh, and then we actually need the quest for the, the crab chunks from our fisherman buddy. Hello. Be careful. So we'll head north first and we'll do the stuff up here. And then we'll have to head down this way. I already forgot my mail. <laughs> uh, I'll have to get it when we come back. I'm so bad at remembering anything. It's it's fine. We'll get it. <laughs> I'm already out of town. I am not turning this car around yet. Eyes on Mary, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. 
All right, so without quest tracking, I have to like kind of pay attention to what I'm going to do and in what order I'm going to do it. Uh, maybe we head into the cave first? You know, I feel like I'm still missing a quest. I, I should have a quest to, to kill like the den mother. And I don't have that quest and I should probably go look for it. It's a higher level quest, so like we don't have to do it right now. But it does, it does happen up this way, the same direction that we're going. One of these caves is for the Den Mother, one of them is for the Mushrooms. And I'm, I'm not 100% sure which. I'm gonna check this cave out, I'm, I'm kinda hoping this is the Mushroom one. So we can do that, we can get that done. Uh, the Crab Chunks are gonna be over this way. And then, ooh, you know what? I, you know what, we, we have to go back to town anyway. I've, I've already effed everything up. <laughs> I, I have to fill this at the moon well, otherwise I can't do this one. So yeah, we, we already just, we've already effed up. I have to go back. Oh! It's, I guess it's just that time of day. If possible, like, I get stupider after I eat food. I try not to eat a lot during the stream. Because, like, literally as soon as I eat, like, I lose a bunch of IQ points. And I can't afford to lose IQ points. Like, I am already pretty fucking stupid. But, yeah, you put some food in me. And it just makes the situation, like, so much worse. Maybe I'll find the Den Mother quest while I'm back here. Yeah, it's not... it's not either of these quests. I, I don't... I really don't know. Like, maybe I'm making this quest up. It, it's not this one. That's a BFD quest. Uh, it's not the family fishing pole. It's not the absent-minded prospector. So yeah, I really, I really don't know where we would get that quest from. I don't think I've already done it. I would remember doing it. Let's check my log. No, it's not that it's here and I'm not tracking it. All right, I guess I won't. Uh, I won't worry too much about it. You know, we'll, we'll either do it at some point or we won't. Oh, Blood Moon, I appreciate it. That's awesome. Yeah, it's gonna help out a lot. Uh, I will take... I think I'm gonna grab one stack of each for now. And then I could let the other ones... ...sit in the... ...in the mailbox. That way I save some inventory space. Yeah, I'll let the others sit. I hate how you can't- you can't take a bag, like, if my new bag is inside this bag, I can't take my new bag and replace it. I have to move my new bag to a different bag, and then I have to replace the other bag. It's so roundabout. There we go, that's, like, about as good as it gets for right now. Um, is Quest Mother the end of a quest line? Is Den Mother the end of a quest line? It might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might be right. Maybe it's the end of the Thistle Bear quest. Maybe that's why I don't have it yet. That would make perfect sense. A and you're probably right. Okay, so I filled the item in the moon well. I got my mail. We determined that I'm not picking the other quest up right now. Now I think I'm ready to head out.
We got a rare spawn here. Lysolin? Lysolin? I don't know how to pronounce his name, but here he is. Raider's Cloak of the Whale. Um, hmm. I feel like this is probably better. I think the stamina is going to be better for me than the agility. I'm going to go ahead and equip it. Stevie, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. These guys are worth zero XP, so I'm just going to let them leash off of me. What faction do I like playing more? Horde or Alliance? Uh, I like to go back and forth, honestly. I, I like to go back and forth. I feel like there are things- I like the Alliance races a lot more. Like, the Alliance races are just easier to look at for 100 hours. Uh, but the Horde zones, like, I miss the Barons, I miss my time in Stone Talon. I like a lot of the zones in both places, but like... Before the Blood Elves existed, it's kind of hard to play the Horde side. They don't have any pretty races. Not not really. And like the ones that they have that look okay, just kind of like, they feel like they lack polish. Like, I don't mind the female orcs. But they just seem like they're, they're like lacking something. The female trolls, like if you play a, a female troll, the running animation is like super janky. It's like a super janky run animation and once you see it, you never unsee it. And even by, like, the Cataclysm beta, like, they're still running with the same janky animations in the Cata beta, so... I don't know that it ever gets fixed. Am I gonna do stockades? I'd, I'd have to probably think about doing deadmines first. The, the problem is, like, not a lot of people are running those dungeons. Like, this is everything that's been spammed and looking for group within, like, the last little while. And, like, as you can see, like, a lot of the groups that go out are actually high-level content because people have their characters capped. So, like, I see more people looking for, like, high-level content than I do people looking for low-level content. You know, and, and that's in the middle of the day, on, like, a Thursday. This is the... this is not the right place. Okay, so the... the mushrooms are north of the river. Yeah, we don't want to fight the dead mother right now. Wrong cave. The trolls look fine, but their running animation is janky. Like, super janky. And ultimately, like, uh, it's like, the other problem is, like, they don't have enough options. They don't have enough hairstyle options, they don't have enough face options, they don't- they don't have enough options. Neither the orc nor the- nor the troll have enough options. It's almost like the- the horde characters were done after the fact. Like, I feel like they spent most of their time making and animating the alliance side. And then they only had so much time to make and animate the, uh... The Horde side. Like, think about all the cool things that, like, hairstyles do. On the Alliance, like, hair- hair is, like, so mobile, there's a lot of hair physics. Like, think about the dwarf with the braided pigtails and the casting animations and stuff. And then you go over onto the Horde side and you roll, like, a female troll or an orc, like, and the hair doesn't move. There's, like, really, like, no hair that has any physics to it. It's all very, like... Very straight, very unnatural looking, it's not anywhere nearly as good as the hairstyles and options that you have on the Alliance. It's kind of the bummer, until, until they get Blood Elves, and then Blood Elves are the best race in the game. So, yeah. <laughs> Trolls run like they've had an accident. Uh, yeah, right, I guess I can see that. They, it's in awkward stride and like like i said once you see it you you can only just keep staring at it it's like you can't look away there's no way to notice it and then go back to playing a troll like nothing happened yeah yeah and if you like trolls like don't go don't go look at it absolutely don't go fire up a female troll and run around not if you don't want to like you know not if you want to ever play a troll again And then even the orcs, even the orcs run in kind of a stilted manner. It's like there just aren't as much, like, the physics for character models on the Horde side are worse. All of the physics. 
Like, any, like, there's not really, like, a sense of movement about, like, any of the Horde player character models. Until we get into Blood Elves. Yeah, like, without getting too specific, there just aren't a lot of physics going on. Like, things are very, things are very unmoving. You, you have a run animation, but it's a very stiff, everything's very stiff. And it, it's kind of a bummer. I should probably play more Horde side in retail, where, like, the character models just look better. That'd be a good idea. You like the fact that they run stiff? Yeah, that could be a thing. You like that they run that way? I think it's, like, a little bit too stiff. I think it's, like, unnatural seeming. And I'm the kind of person, I, I like to pan my camera around and kind of look at my character sometimes and see him run, so... I, I probably pay more attention to, like, what it looks like than most people do. But yeah, the, the the female orcs are the best thing the Horde has in Classic Era, and they too, their run animation and stuff is just too stiff for me. Everything looks good in retail, yeah. Everything, and, and, and the animations are probably all much better. But you know, everyone is allowed to have their own opinions. These are just reasons why I don't end up playing a lot of Horde side in Classic Era. And it's a reason why, you know, in Cataclysm I am going to be playing a Blood Elf, because I think Blood Elves are awesome. The undead would be okay. I I'm one of those people that doesn't like being able to see the bones of my character. I, I, th I think being able to see the bones is like kind of, it's like immersion breaking for me. How like if you have a robe on, like the sleeve just kind of like, it's j it hangs there. The sleeve is not connected to the upper part of the garment, but the sleeve kind of hangs there anyway. I, I find stuff like that really, really annoying. I'm, I'm probably a little bit too nitpicky for graphics that were created back in like 2003. Yeah, if the if we could have Forsaken that didn't have their bones sticking out like how you can in retail now, then I would I wouldn't mind Forsaken. But I, I hate seeing the bones. I, I hate how the spine shows up. Even when I'm wearing a cloak, for some reason my spine is coming through my cloak. Like please explain that to me. I put on a cloak. Okay? Like the cloak should cover my back. You should no longer be able to see my spine. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> like, I don't want to see my spine. I don't want to see my bones. Just a personal choice. Uh, we need two more sc scabber stuff. Let's jump down here. This seems fine. Strangely, I think, like, I think in Classic Era on the Horde side, the, the Forsaken have the best movement animations. They have the most fluidity and, like, the best movement animations all around on the Horde side. They are the only race in Classic Era on the Horde side that doesn't seem, like, completely stiff. Which is ironic, since they're dead. You would think they'd be the least limber looking of the classes, of the races, but it's not. It's the opposite. Alright, that's it. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna go after this item. I've actually never had this item drop for me. You have to kill like a couple of cultists back here, and then like sometimes the item drops, sometimes it doesn't, so I'm not gonna bother with it. I feel like you don't need to have your bones out to be a zombie. Like, have, having visible bones does not, like, a zombie make. You, you could be a, uh, you know, an undead character without that. Like, look at, like, uh, Dark Rangers. 
Like, Dark Rangers have existed for a long time, and, like, they didn't have their bones sticking out. So, I don't know. This conversation has made me realize like how long it's been since I leveled up a horde side character in retail. I don't know if I've played any horde side characters in retail since before Shadowlands. What was the last horde side retail character that I leveled up from level one? Jesus, I might I might never have not not since like way back in the day. Yeah, I don't uh, since I've had my channel, I don't think I've leveled up a Horde side character from level 1. I think I did the Exiles Reach scenario on a character just when they put Exiles Reach into the game. I did a Horde side character just to see their Exiles Reach. But I don't think I've leveled one up. Which is weird for me. Yeah, there's, there's probably never going to be a graphical toggle option, but for, for for Cataclysm, they have introduced, I saw in data mining, like in up -reser, there's an up -reser option for character models. So it, you won't be getting like the new looking character models for the old races, but they will be like, you'll be able to up -res them. Uh, I guess to have like a better resolution, more pixels and stuff like that. So they'll, they'll look a little bit better, but they're not going to be like the WAD and after models. I feel like I'm in combat with something else. Yeah, I am. But I, I doubt you're ever gonna see like a Diablo 2 style like toggle switch between like classic and retail graphics. That that would be a lot of work and I know there are some people who want that, but I don't know if the I don't know if the audience or people that want that is like big enough for them to put the work into it. We are running out of inventory space, unfortunately. And I still have a lot of stuff to do up here. You just want to see Classic Plus add a new race? Yeah. I, I feel you. I wish at least when they, when they do seasons of WoW Classic, they should put some other races. I don't think they're going to make up any new races. But they could use the Blood Elf models to give Alliance uh, High Elves. They could obviously give the Horde Blood Elves. And then I always had this idea, like, they could give the Alliance the, the Blue Draenei, and then they could give the Horde Eridar Draenei. And I feel like that'd be a good compromise. That way, both Horde and Alliance, like, you, bo you both have, like, a, a Draenei and a High Elf option. And I think that'd be cool to see. Like, not, not really baked into Classic Era, but maybe for, like, Seasons. Just because I doubt I doubt they're ever gonna have like an actual classic plus to put it in, so like maybe it'd be like a seasonal thing for se for seasons of WoW. Uh, let's see. He wants us to go collect paper scraps oh, right over here. I realize I died like so many times, and I, I like I stopped tracking herbs. That could be why I have not been collecting any herbs to speak of, because we just haven't been tracking them.
again guys when it comes to art like everyone's gonna have their own preference on like what looks good and what doesn't look good yeah it's just it's just it's basically art appreciation and that is okay it, it's not a hot take or anything to, to prefer one over the other it's, it really just boils down to your personal taste. I like both of them. What I like about retail is that you just have more ways to customize your character. I, I can make my character look like a hundred times more unique in retail than I can in classic. And that's it. That's, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, I appreciate both of them. But when it comes down to it, the major difference for me is like in one, I can really do a lot of customization. And in the other, I really, I really can't do a lot. I would like to see Classic add more customizations that, that are still Classic. Like, I don't necessarily- I don't need the new character models in Classic because I have those in retail. But I would like to see, like, low-res versions of some of the more, like, some of the better character customizations. Like, more hairstyles, more skin tones, more faces, more beards. More, I, I, wa I want to be able to change my eye color independent of my face. Like, I wish they could work in some stuff like that while, while still keeping the graphics the same. Just give me more ability to customize my character. Um, let's see. I don't need these guys. I am looking for these guys. Dragon's Dogma 2 customization. No thanks. I, I don't need all that. That's cool for that game. Like, I don't, I don't need that in WoW. Like, I don't need those sliders. I don't need the ability to create, like, anybody I want in the game. It's cool for Dragon's Dogma, though. Well, there we go. Opening those solved some of our inventory problems. I had never seen this chest plate model before, and now we've seen two of them in only a couple days. And before yesterday, I had never seen this before. Now we're finding them all over the place. Probably get some of these elixirs going, that would be a good idea. Do I think I'd be more focused on one specific version of WoW if I didn't do YouTube? To tell you the truth, like if, if, I, if Classic hadn't come out, I probably wouldn't be playing WoW at all. Would I be more focused on one version? No. Because it, with, if you pay attention to content cadence and like when they do releases and stuff, like the whole release schedule is kind of made so that you bounce around from one version to the other. It's it's very hard, I think, for like a lot of people these days just to play only one version of WoW. Unless you're a person who genuinely only enjoys one version of WoW, but I enjoy all versions of WoW. So no, I'd still be bouncing. I'd probably bounce around more. Imagine a person who has even less focus than I do right now. And then that would be the person that I was if I wasn't making content. Yeah, I'd probably bounce around more. Like on a daily basis especially. 
Like, if, if I was just playing for myself and I had, like, three hours to play, I, I'd probably go touch a bunch of characters and, like, jump into a bunch of different versions within the day. Because, like, the way the game is designed right now, it's in, it's kind of intended for you to do that. Like, for instance, like, right now, I'm, you know, Sod Phase 3 comes out Thursday. We'll jump back into Sod, I'll cap the character at 50, we'll put him back on the shelf. And then when 60 comes back out, we'll, we'll cycle back. Like, a as you'll notice, like, I'm not, I'm not playing the, just like the popular version of the game right now. You know, like right now I'm playing the least popular version of the game. It just so happens just to be the version that I am into right now. How may I help? Farewell. If I was playing like the popular version of the game, I guess I would have I would have to be playing Sod. Looking at looking at the server population, like if I was only gonna play the, the popular version of the game, I would have been stuck playing Sod phase two this entire time. And for me personally, like that would have been awful. Uh, I need to find the Furbolgs. We have Furbolg camps back here somewhere. And I need to find them. That being said, I'm not really sure where they're at. I, I feel like they're back here somewhere. Oh, that's a mute. I have a quest. I don't have a quest here. There is a quest here, but it's not it's not a quest that I have right now. You know, I might need to turn quest tracking on. I need to find the camp of Furbolgs. We have like an item we have to use. We have items we have to pick up. And I don't know where this stuff is at. I'm going to pop quest tracking on really quick so that I can get like some idea of where these guys are at. Because otherwise, I think I'm going to wander around up here for a while. Objectives. Let's see. Thistle bear is not what I need. Okay, I was on the right track. No, no, that's not right. Um, hmm. Oh, down here. Okay, see, I was in the I was in the complete wrong area. I, I would have spent like a bunch of time looking in this area, and I never would have found what I was looking for. So, there we go. I'll turn it back off. We're, we're headed down here somewhere uh, to find the fur bulgs. See, other players do exist. They're out there. We just don't always see them.
I wonder if Kata will be worth playing from level one. I mean, that's like just like a personal evaluation. The answer to that is going to be different based on uh, the person, I think. Yeah, if you, especially like if you're a person that never saw the revamp, then yeah, you're going to have a lot of new content. If you are a person who like played the crap out of Cataclysm when it came out, you saw the new zones, you read all the quests, you've done it to death, you've had six level 85s, then you know, for you, maybe not so much. But yeah, for anybody who hasn't seen that content, it's, it's going to be pretty amazing. I, I enjoyed Cata immensely when it came out. That's fine, we'll fight every Furbolg here, that's reasonable. Is Easter even a big deal in the U.S.? <laughs> Do you think that people in the U.S. and especially corporations would miss an opportunity to make people go out to the store and spend money on shit that they otherwise wouldn't? Like, do you think we would miss that opportunity? Do you think that America would miss out on having another consumer-driven holiday where people buy shit? Come on. <laughs> Come on now. I think you can figure this one out. Yeah, I think you- I think you can figure this one out. Like, yeah, we got a fucking Easter bunny. Like, what does that have to do with Easter? Nothing, but the kids love it. And the kids are the ones you're gonna be spending lots of money on. So yeah. It, it, it's a big deal in the sense that it's an expectation of your child if you have children. That you're gonna do like an Easter egg hunt, you're gonna color Easter eggs, they're gonna have a basket with candy, maybe a couple of toys. Yeah, it's a, it's another consumer holiday. For most people. Obviously there are people who celebrate Easter for religious reasons. But, at the end of the day, it's also a consumer holiday. Alright, uh, we got that. There's one other barrel thing that I need to get, and I think it's back in the other camp. So I'm gonna head down here first. Yeah, I need the grain stores. Dante, I appreciate you being here. I'm not surprised that you didn't get the notification. YouTube hates me. <laughs> it's, pro it's a personal thing. Yeah, in the U.S. it's a whole big thing. Yeah, you, you get a couple toys, you get you get candy, you do an Easter egg hunt, you have like a family dinner. At like you have a family dinner, but you have it at like noon for some reason. It happens at noon. I think it's because like people want to get done with it. They just want to go their separate ways. So you, you have like a really early dinner. Yeah, like it just is what it is. If, if you're not if you're not a religious person, it's mainly just a holiday for like the kids to enjoy and. A reason to have a big dinner with family, I guess.
Like, somehow I aggroed all these guys? Like, how did I aggro all these guys? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, you guys can all piss off. Yeah, I'm not fighting you guys. Okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah, I don't know how- I, I knew that I pulled one of them. I guess maybe he probably laid down a totem. The totem pulled another guy. That guy laid down a totem. That totem pulled another guy. That's really all I can think of. Oh god, my inventory is full. Oh, Jesus, it's so bad. I had to drop a bunch of junk here. We need we need inventory space. And that can go right back onto the ground. Glenn, good morning, good afternoon, welcome to the stream, buddy. See, Jason, that's a good reason to have it early. Yeah, see, I don't have that. There's no reason. We we always had Easter dinner early growing up, but like there was never there was never like that reason didn't exist. Although may maybe it was like a habit from when like maybe people did go to church. I don't know. But my family is not very religious. And then subsequently, I'm not very religious. All right, we have all the things, and now I need to I need to clear this air. Oh god, where did these guys come from? Oh, <laughs> this always ha look at this shit. Are you serious with this right now? Are you serious with this? This always happens to me in this area, um, and I I can never figure out what pulls all these guys. I always come here like a really high level. They're all green. I'm keeping my distance. And then from like out of nowhere, I aggro like three, four, five guys, and I, I never can figure out why. I don't know if it's that like it's the respawn rate just popping them back in and I don't notice that the ones I've already killed are coming back or what it is. But every time I'm here, this is what I have to deal with. Like I, because I, I have to clear my way into this fire to lay down this item. And so like I have to kill like everything to get there. But the problem is, like, everything aggro's from, like, a really weird distance. I'll just keep pulling them, like, way back, and we'll see if that works. They they pull from a distance that you would not expect green enemies to pull from. Maybe I should use the gun here and try to pull this guy back. He's probably gonna lay down a totem, though. Yeah, here's the totem. It'd be really cool if the quest item I need would like stay in the quest log where I could easily click it because I have no idea. I have no idea what the quest item looks like. I, yeah, I don't know. I, I have all this, maybe it's this thing? Yeah, here we go. So this is gonna spawn a satyr. We got, we gotta kill the satyr. Oh shit, okay, let's get out of here. Okay, yep, they, they all run in, they become passive, the satyr comes, we kill the satyr, we loot the satyr, and that's it. 
He drops an item on the ground, we gotta click the item when it drops on the ground. And we have to get out of here before all these guys become aggressive again. Oh, you know what? I didn't do the fine crab chunks. We should probably go do this. I, I think we can do this right over here on the coast. So, yeah, let's let's go check that out and see. If the drop rate sucks, maybe we'll skip it, but let's go check it out. Amendy, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Also, also, we need a couple more rabid bears. Maybe I should get the rabid bears before I leave this area. I should really stop using Rend. Like, Rend is basically useless. Yeah, I, I, I really don't think I need it. it it's, uh, I'm not specced into it, so it's just not doing any damage. And I should probably just save the rage for heroic striking. A black lab? I wish it was a fucking black lab. Oh my god. No, a black lab I could have trained to not bark like that, because believe it or not, I actually know how to train dogs. But this dog was not trainable. Because this dog is some kind of mutt. But my wife got him from somebody that said he was a... Uh, a cattle dog. Uh, a blue healer. He, he's not a cattle dog. He's like a German Shepherd mixed with a cattle dog. Mixed with, like, just... I don't know. He's the most annoying dog I, I've ever had in my entire life. Mainly because, like, despite anything we did to try to train him, like, from when he was a little puppy onward, he's just, like, he's pseudo-aggressive towards people, he barks at the slightest provocation and then doesn't stop. Like, he's just not a good dog, and, like, it's something genetically that's, like, messed up with him. Like, I don't know. It's bad. He's a bad dog. <laughs> we, we can, we can like, just kind of leave it there. He's a really bad dog. He doesn't, he doesn't, we, despite everything we did to train him, he doesn't fit my life, and he drives me absolutely crazy. I, I have a lot of sensitivity to, like, noises happening in my environment. Like, he literally actually drives me crazy. My little dog is great. We got a great little dog. Uh, but the big dog was a big swing and a miss. Uh, I don't think these guys are dropping the item I need? They're not marked, like the tooltip doesn't mark them. But I don't, I'm pretty sure these are the guys. I wonder why the tooltip is not marking the quest objective. My inventory is full. I'm not I'm not gonna do this right now. 
Well, I'm not gonna be up here with a full inventory trying to do this. Gray legs, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. I don't need I don't need my dog to help with those things. That's the problem. Like it's it's not bad for me because I don't I don't need my dog to help with shit like that. And no, like mainly like a dog needs to be trained to not bark at everything it hears in the neighborhood. Like you can't have a dog that hears a neighbor shut a car door three houses down and then barks hysterically until somebody tries to get him to stop barking. Like that's not useful. It's the opposite. Have you ever heard of the boy who cried wolf? <laughs> It's absolutely useless to have a dog that barks at everything because that doesn't tell you any information. Uh, what it does is it stresses me the fuck out. So I don't need a dog to tell me if someone's breaking into the house. I don't need a dog to tell me if somebody fell down and can't get up. I'll, I'll handle that stuff myself. Now I need, I need a dog to be quiet and to not seem aggressive towards people. That's the most important part. Is that he got to the point where like after like months of taking him on walks he, he just got worse and worse to where like i can't even walk him anymore because he acts aggressive towards people and he's strong enough that he started to injure both of my elbows like both of my elbows are complete trash garbage now because this dog like would just pull and pull and pull at the leash like despite any kind of like training or attempt to get him to stop doing it it doesn't matter what matters is like not all dogs fit with all people and, and that's just the reality. Sometimes you end up with an animal that does not fit your life. And it happens. Yeah, like, and the, the fact that I have a sensory issue with sound, like, is really bad. Like, yeah, like, one day I'm just gonna have a fucking heart attack because of the dog. Like, that's gonna be how I go. The dog is gonna start barking and I'm just gonna go. Like, that's how bad it is. I'm a bad hunter. Yeah, I, I'm not, I don't like pet classes. Yeah. I don't like pet classes, that's true. I'd be a bad hunter. I'll take the lone wolf talent and just do it that way. What's, what's my favorite raid? My favorite raid of all time was uh, Ulduar 10-man hard modes. U Ulduar 10-man hard modes. Probably the most fun that I ever had raiding. This was back in, uh, this was back in original Wrath, by the way. Not, not in classic Wrath. Is there a difference in the raids from back in the day as opposed to like now in classic? I don't think that many of them are very different mechanically. They probably changed a few things, like subtle things. I just, I didn't raid in classic. Like I, I haven't really raided in classic. I, I did a lot of my raiding back in the day and when it, when it came to the Wrath of the Lich King raids especially, I had seen them all so many times. Yeah, that I just, I had no desire to do it all again in, uh, in Wrath classic. 
Now in Cataclysm, the only the only raid I did was Firelands, also a very good raid. So in Cataclysm, I'll get to do some of the raids and they'll actually be new to me, and so I'll probably be more inclined to do more of them. But yeah, I, I didn't have an interest in doing all, doing Nax and Ulduar and Ice Crown, like I did all that stuff back in my 20s. And I didn't feel a need to go at it again. Now that I'm 40. Um, I don't know if I, if that's an upgrade or not. I have to look at that. Uh, attack power is probably an upgrade. Hey, good. Ishnuala, farewell. Yeah, it's not about how old you are, it's about how old you feel. And the, look at it this way, like anybody can drop dead at any minute. So it's not really about how old you are. <laughs> it's about how old you feel. I have days when I feel like I'm 70, I have days when I feel like I'm 12. So, yeah, it's a pretty good mix. Uh, I'm not, I'm not complaining too much about it. But yeah, the, f the reality is that, like, age has nothing to do with your longevity. What brings you here? Your longevity is mostly just RNG. A little, a little bit of genetics, but then mostly just RNG. I try to remind myself that through history, if we take all of human history and we take an average, the average lifespan of a human being throughout history is about 35 years old. So I've already exceeded like my biological imperative. I've had a kid. I've I've lived past the historical average age of 35 years old. And so like, you know, take every day as it, as it is. 21, we hit 21. Uh let's see. We'll just keep going into improved battle shout. Uh cleansing of the infected. This turns in across the street here. Assist you. May the stars guide you. Be careful. Now we have the Dead Mother quest. Okay, yep, it was part of a chain. That makes perfect sense. Alright, so we still have some stuff to do. Uh, like, basically all over the place. A lot of it is to the south of us. I don't know if maybe there's a place to the south where we can do the fine crab chunks. I'll have to check the quest tracking and see if we can do that somewhere else. Otherwise, we'll be headed back north, which is fine. We also have to go after the lockbox and stuff, so we do have some stuff to do basically all over the place. But guys, I am out of time for today. Thank you all very much for being here and for hanging out with me and letting me play Vanilla Era Classic at a time when it's not super popular. I've been having a really great time on this character. If you guys have enjoyed hanging out, leaving a like, making sure you're subbed to the channel, ringing the bell, all that stuff really does help me out a lot. And I appreciate those that do. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there in the real world and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.